Hello everyone, this is Ms. Lina Ode and this is English Grade 11. Today um, we are going to welcome you to the captivating world of English, literature and language. Over the next few minutes, we'll embark on a journey to uncover what you can anticipate from high school English class. From classic literature to honing your writing skills, let's dive into the enriching experience that awaits you. In your English class, you will learn why we want to learn English or why we need to learn English and you will also learn all the basic skills. So what is the power of literature? In your English class, you'll explore a diverse range of literary works, novels, plays, poems, each brimming with unique perspectives, emotion and ideas. You'll learn to analyze and interpret texts discover hidden meanings and understanding the historical and cultural context that shape them. You will build critical thinking by sharpening your skills. English class encourages you to question, evaluate, and form your own opinions about characters, themes, and plot developments. Through discussions and essays, you learn how to express your thoughts coherently and persuasively. You will try to communicate effectively and you will also enhance it. it. It's not just about reading, it's about communication. You'll develop strong verbal and written skills that transcend the classroom. You'll engage in debates, presentations, and crafting well-structured essays that will empower you to express your ideas effectively in any context. You will explore language and style. You have to get ready to delve into the intricacies of language and style. You'll uncover the power of word choice, sentence structure, and figurative language. You will analyze how authors manipulate language and that will deepen your appreciation for the art of communication. You will express creatively as a creativity takes center stage in your English class. Through grade 11 creative writing assignments, you'll have the opportunity to open your own stories, poems, and essays. This outlet allows you to experiment with your imagination and discover your unique voice. Literature reflects the world around us. In your English class, you'll explore the different cultures, perspectives, and social issues. This exposure fosters empathy and broadens your understanding of the diverse societies we live in. You will also work collaboratively. You will engage in collaborative activities such as group and discussions peer reviews, and literary projects. You will share insights and learn from your classmates' perspectives that will enrich your understanding and build valuable teamwork. As for technology and in integration, embrace technology as a tool for learning. You'll utilize online resources, digital texts, and multimedia to enhance your understanding of the literature and effectively present your ideas. You will grow as a reader as you progress through your English class, grade 11, you notice your reading habits evolve. You'll become more comfortable tackling complex texts and you'll develop strategies for comprehending and enjoying even the most challenging material. Now, let's explore the themes in the units. Before exploring the themes in the unit, we have to see the primary books that are to be taken this year. The book is My Perspectives. It is actually divided into volume one, which is um, uh, going to be taken in semester one, and volume two, which is going to be taken in semester two. Total of six units, three for each. As for volume one, it's, it's American literature. As volume two, it's also American literature. Uh, we will only take American literature this year. So the first unit that is to be covered this year is called Writing Freedom. It's highly integrated with history. Let's discuss the themes. The first one is limited freedom versus absolute freedom, the real meaning of a freedom, the fight for freedom, formal constitutions, and the search for truth. For unit number two, we're going to indulge into the individual and society, a person in a community, the themes fitting in, versus standing out, identity, individualism, loneliness, outcasts, and outsiders. For unit number three, the power of protest and change, the themes are freedom, captivity, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, loyalty, sacrifice, racial oppression, 
happiness versus sorrow. As for unit number four, Gritten and Grandeur, reality and illusion, ambition, greed, and material possessions, the importance of a place, the relationship between a place and literature, love and attachment, tragedy and loss, and perspectives that are to be uncovered in the stories. As for the last unit, it's called Ordinary Lives, Extraordinary Tales. The themes are mostly stories and what they reveal about the human beings, human limitations and possibilities, the human condition, horror, gothic stories, the psychological journeys that uh, the authors embark on, fate versus free will. So, as and there you have it, the exciting journey that awaits you in your high school English class, grade 11. From lit literary exploration to honing your communication skills, you will embark on a path of growth and discovery. Embrace the challenges, engage with enthusiasm, and prepare to unlock your full potential. Remember, every word you read and write will contribute to your growth as a thinker, communicator, and a lifelong learner. Thank you so much.